Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidbin.com and in this video we will show you how to get unlimited free Google photo storage in original quality. There will be no completion of photos and videos whatsoever. You can store unlimited amount of photos and videos in the original quality on your Google account. So how will this be achieved? Well, we will spoof your device to the original Pixel phone that was launched in 2016. But why are we choosing the original Pixel phone and not any other version of Pixel phone? Because as of now, the original Pixel phone is the only one that will give you unlimited storage in original quality. If we talk about Pixel 2, then it used to give unlimited storage, but that was expired till 16 January 2021. If we talk about Pixel 3, then you would get unlimited storage in original quality only till 31st January of this year. So that is also expired. If we talk about Pixel 3a to Pixel 5, then it will give you unlimited storage, but only in storage saver quality, meaning the photo and video will be compressed. If you talk about the original quality, then it will only give you 15 GB at the very max. And from Pixel 6 onwards, including Pixel 7, there is no unlimited storage whatsoever in any quality. So only the Pixel that was launched in 2016, the first Pixel, gives us unlimited storage in original quality. And as of now, we'll be spoofing your device to that original Pixel itself. First and foremost, let me show you, currently I'm using a OnePlus 7T device. So this guide is applicable across all the devices, whether it's a Pixel, Samsung, Xiaomi or OnePlus. Moreover, as of now, I'm only getting the 15 GB of free storage, which is the norm nowadays for every Pixel and non-Pixel devices. So that's well and good. Now let's get started with the video. In this regard, your first course of action is to route your phone via matches. If you haven't done so, then I will link a guide as, well as a video using which you could route your phone. Once the routing is successful, launch the Magisk app, then tap on the settings icon at the top right. After that, go to Zygisk and enable the toggle next to Zygisk. Once this is enabled, you will have to re restart your phone. The restart is compulsory. Once the restart is done, again launch the Magisk app and make sure that it says yes next to Zygisk. In my case, it's showing yes, so the Zygisk has been enabled. Next up, you will now have to flash the Pixel module. This module will spoof your device to the original Pixel phone and will give you unlimited storage. So go to my link guide. I have given this guide in the description as well. And then download the Pixelify module from GitHub. Yes, one more thing. Apart from the unlimited storage, you will also be getting all these goodies on your phone. It's completely up to you whether you want these features or not. As of now, we will only be using the unlimited photos backup storage in original quality feature. And we will be skipping the rest of the feature. You are free to install whatever features you like. So let's go to this link guide and download the Pixelify module. Once that is done, open the Magisk app, go to modules and tap on install from storage. Now select the Pixelify module and it will now load onto the device. As you could see, its installation type is Zygisk. So that is why we have told you to enable Zygisk beforehand. Now the entire installation will be carried using the volume up and volume down keys. So it will first ask you to press the volume up key or volume down. I am pressing a volume key. So it has now verified that the volume keys are working well and good. So it will now start installing the Pixelify module. As I already told you before, it comes with quite a lot of features. But as of now, we will only be using the single feature of unlimited storage. First and foremost, it will ask you to install the Android system intelligence. I will say you reply yes for this. So press the volume up key and it will now download the Android system intelligence which is around 53 MB, it will now install. Apart from that, you could skip the rest of the features. So just press volume down for the rest of the features. For example, this is the North Link feature. I am going now down. So it's installing the Android system intelligence, which I said yes in the first place. And apart from that, rest of the features will be set to no. It's completely up to you. Whenever you want, you can come and install these features. So the next course of action is asking for the backup. It's not needed for me, so I'm doing a no by volume down. Next up, it's it will ask for a few other modules as well. It's again asking for a no playing feature, so let's say no by a volume down. After that, it's asking for pixel live wallpapers. Again, we don't want it, so volume down for no. Then it's asking for the pixel launcher. I am pressing volume down for no. After that, Google setting service, again, it's not required in my case. So I said no. Extreme battery saver, again, no. Then it's the Google keyboard enabled. It's checking for rest of the features, enabling. 
the next feature is languages in space bar g logo in the google keyboard i do not require that as well so i am skipping by pressing the volume down key after that it's applying the fixes for the in my case is oxygen os so it's applying the fixes for oxygen os in the last you should see done so finally hit the reboot button and your device will now restart so let me restart my phone hi guys so my device has been restarted just to show you i am using the oneplus 7t phone as you can see from here so as of now what we had done was to install the magisk app to obtain root then we enable the zygisk from the magisk settings page just a minute yes we enable the zygisk from the magisk settings page we restarted the phone and then flash the pixel module once you have flashed the pixel module you need to restart the phone and after that make sure that you see two modules here the first is the pixelify module and the next is the pixelify uninstall service both the module needs to be there so if that's well and good then you will have to delete the data of google photos so go to the settings menu then go to the apps page this might vary depending on your device go to the apps page and app management and then search for the photos app from here the google photos app then go to its storage and tap on manage space then delete data do note that this will not delete your photos and videos because they are stored on the clouds so we have done the removal of data once the data has been removed launch the google photos app and as you could now see it will identify your device as a pixel one so you could see this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge so it is identifying my device which is a oneplus 7t as a pixel device so choose your email id and hit confirm then if you go through the setup screen and hit done and let me show you once again if i type on my profile it's showing that this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge selecting it and it's again showing that pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge so with this we have spoofed our device to the original pixel and now you can upload unlimited photos and videos without the any restriction of storage space so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks for watching